up, gamers? Critical thinkers? And maybe not so critical thinkers. Hope everybody's having a nice Saturday. Uh, I thought I'd just make a quick video on the uh, Steam sale, and uh, let's get right into it. Uh, Wulong. Uh, I've heard a lot of bad things, or at least with the performance or whatever. I, I don't have too much to comment on it, but eh, $15 off. I don't know. Mixed reviews. I'd wait. Yeah, so Civilization VI. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this game. Uh, if you're into like turn-based strategy, um, it's kind of like a risks. I think is you know I've never played it, but I have a few buddies that play it. It's kind of like that, or it's kind of it's kind of like a Warhammer in a way too, for six bucks. And it's normally sixty. I would say that is a steal. And if you're into that type of stuff, I'd pick it up right now. Uh, Code Vein. If you're a weeb and you like Dark Souls, this is the game for you. It's uh, nine bucks right now, eighty-five percent off. It's pretty good still. It's normally sixty bucks. If you're a weeb, fucking buy it. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Squad. I've heard good things about Squad. I've seen a few videos. I haven't picked it up, but from what I've seen, like if you're trying to get out of Call of Duty because it's a piece of shit, you know, this is this is a pretty good game. For, um, Thirty-seven bucks. I don't know. I mean. I'd give it a, just depends on where your wallet's at. Tidefall 2, 5 bucks. This game's always, I've heard a lot of things about this game. and I'm actually, I mean, it's on my wish list. So this will probably be a game I'm going to be picking up. <clears throat> um, I've heard that the story is just amazing. So it's on my wish list to play. So 450 Yeah, pick it up if you haven't ever played it. What else we got going on here? V Rising, if you're into those survival type, I don't know, what else, what else would you call it, open world, oh yeah, you can build bases in it, I've been trying, I, it's, I think this one's on my wish list, no, maybe it's not, but I've, I've been meaning to play that one, so I might take a dabble into that, we'll see, it looks pretty cool though, um, Hollow Knight's on sale, check it out if you haven't played it, I'm probably picking that one up too, Bullgun, I highly recommend Bullgun if you like boomer shooters. This game is fucking fun. Real, real fun. I Sometimes I can't put it down. Okay, Battle Bit. I mean, it's not on sale, but it's a $15 game. I've been playing that. I played a, lot, uh, I played a little bit last, actually last night with my friends, and I've actually made a little crappy review on it, like a first impressions. But I've been playing it more, and yeah, it's 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 basically... It's, it's, it's way funner than the new Battlefield game, but it's like Roadblox graphics. But it's, I don't know, it's super fun. And the customization and all that's really super deep, too. There's a lot of different guns and the way you can put different parts on them. So, yeah, check it out. Um, I'm not a Harry Potter fan, but if you are, I hear this game is decent and it's 47 bucks. Fuck all the people that will call you a transpho because they're just fucking idiots. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, 20 bucks. Yeah, I mean, if you haven't played Red Dead Redemption, I don't know where you've been, but... Yeah, this game is a fucking masterpiece, hands down. Um, the gameplay is so amazing. Like, I mean, even if the even if you don't think the gameplay is a masterpiece in that regard, you definitely will take the story as a masterpiece. It's it's really, really, really well done. Sons of the Forest. I do own this game. I haven't played it in a bit, but they've come out with a lot of updates here recently, and it looks amazing. And it's only fucking twenty three bucks right now. Normally thirty, which I actually think the game should be. I think they should have sold it for like forty bucks. I mean, to me, it's worth that. It's really good, really in depth building, survival. There's weapons. Um, yeah, it's it's just it's a super fun survival game. Check it out. Yeah, Elden Ring has is nineteen dollars, eighteen dollars off. I highly recommend this game if you haven't played it. It was last year's game of the year, and it is a fucking masterpiece. Do pick this one up. All right, Dark Souls 3. Now, I'm a huge Dark Souls fan. Um, and let's say that you're running off the back of, uh, or off the steam of uh, of Elden Ring. You haven't played any of the Dark Souls games, and you really loved Elden Ring. Well, here's your chance to play Dark Souls 3 for, for half the price. I, damn, I'm surprised I still sell it for 60 bucks. I mean, it's been out for a minute, but it is definitely worth fucking 60 bucks full price. But you can get it for 30 bucks right now, so... I mean, if you're a Souls-like fan or you're getting into it and you haven't played this one yet, 
get it right now that should be that should be your buy automatically right now if you're into those type of games and if you haven't played it yeah that's the buy that is the buy Jedi Survivor, I can't really comment. Here's a lot of bad things, at least on the PC. A lot of performance issues, and I can still see the reviews are mixed. Man, you're only... $70? You're fucking nuts. $70, dude. Insane. Um, 52 bucks right now. Um, I don't know. If you're a huge Star Wars fan or something and you haven't got it, maybe pick it up since it's, it's like $15 off and, you know... Hopefully it performs well for you, and if not, hopefully they patch it soon. But, I mean, I'm not going to tell you to gamble that way, because you never know. Sometimes they don't ever fix the problems, but, and it's fucking EA, so. Where else? What else we got here? Um, High on Life. I haven't played it, but from what I hear, it's an actually very, very good game for what it is, and it's really funny, too. It's kind of like a parody on first-person shooters, I guess, and it's made by the... Uh, the people that made uh, Rick and Morty, and from what I hear, like the only problem, like it's, it's very positive on the reviews. From what I hear, like the only major flaw is it's not long enough. Like it's not the game is you can beat it really fast. So for thirty bucks, half the price, I'd say pick it up, definitely. What else we got? Skyrim, yeah. If you haven't played Skyrim, I mean, yeah, pick it up for ten bucks. Skyrim's a fucking amazing game. And they even have. There's so many ways you can mod it. Uh, what else? What else do they have for that? Like, there, there's graphic mods. Like, there's all man. There's you can do a lot of shit with that game. Tons. System Shock, the new one. I haven't played it. I hear it's very good though, and I want to. So I need to. I'm probably gonna put that on my wish list. But it's like eight bucks off right now. Check it out. I would if you're in the first person shooters. Cyberpunk ish. Um Far Cry six. I haven't played Fire Cry Six either. Mixed reviews. Eh. I don't know. If you're a Far Cry fan, I mean if you're a Far Cry fan, you probably already picked it up. But if not, fifteen bucks, I don't know, maybe give it a chance. Age of Empires two. Now this is an old school game. This game shit. Probably most of y'all that are watching weren't even alive when this game came out. <laughs> um, yeah, if you're an RTS fan, um, maybe you played the new Age of Empires and were and loved it. Pick this one up. This is the one, not the one that started it all, but the one that got them really like got them up there. Like this one, like it's just a it's a cult classic. It's I mean it's not even a it's just a classic, plain and simple. If you like RTSs, pick this up for five fucking bucks, dude great fucking game like i have so many memories with this game like i remember playing this shit on msn dial-up back in the fucking day <laughs> um i have played a little bit of this one and like some other games came out so i kind of put it back on the back burner and i picked it up for cheap too um it's actually a really fun fucking game so yeah 10 bucks can't beat it right Riders of the Republic, or Riders Republic of the Republic. <laughs> um, I haven't played it, but if you're like into those old school like snowboarder, mountain bike, um, what else is on there? Is it just snowboarding, skiing, uh, basically like extreme sports or whatever? I hear it's super super fun. Like you know, you get that old nostalgic feels from it too, and it's just really really fun. And it's on sale, seventy five percent off, fifteen bucks. Reviews are mostly positive, so if you're into that type of shit, you'll really, really probably dig this one. Um, Forza, what can I say? One of the best car games. Um, I mean, if you're like Gran Turismo, like from the day, like that's the successor to Gran Turismo, in in my opinion. I mean, I think Gran Turismo is supposed to be coming out with some new games. I could be wrong. But, uh, yeah, if you're a car game guy, shit, pick this up. Half off, 30 bucks. Outlast Trials. I haven't played it here. It's really good, though. You can save five bucks. If you're a horror game fan, survival horror, yeah, check it out, check it out, check it out. Oh, I wish Street Fighter Six was on fucking sale, but it just came out, so that's that's not going to happen. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's all for now. Um, Dark Tide, I don't know. I hear there's still a lot of problems with that game, so I don't know. I wouldn't, I don't, I wouldn't suggest picking it up yet, but I'm a huge war, Warhammer fan, but... 
they just kind of missed the ball on this one. Or dropped the ball, sorry. Uh, Chivalry, if you're in the Chivalry one and you haven't played the second one, pick this one up, half off. Yeah, I don't know if they do these. It's been, uh, I don't know if they do them like they used to back in the day with Steam. Like, as the days go by, they would add more games for sale, you know, so you'd always have to keep back checking and stuff. I don't know if they still do that. I think they just all like, here you go. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise, yeah, if you're a Monster Hunter fan, pick up the pick up this game. It's 60% off. Definitely pick that one up. All right, well, that's going to do it for me, guys. Um, if you really liked this video, please leave a like and sub. It really helped me out a lot. And love y'all. Peace out.